how do you downsample high resolution audio files? Well, this question comes from Luther in Spring, Texas. Hello, Paul. I have a high quality DAC that's limited to 2448. How do I downsample the current high res files for playback through my DAC? Purchasing a new DAC is not a viable alternative for me at this time. I want to use a laptop as my file reference and tie it via optical to my DAC. Would you have any suggestions, please? Well, I don't think you actually need to do that because most DACs will take whatever you give them and deal with it. But let's, let's imagine your DAC doesn't. And I don't know what kind of DAC you have. So that could very well be the case. You have a computer, so you are in like Flynn. You're golden, and here's why. All you need is a decent program like Audervana, bit perfect if it's a Mac. I don't know what you have for that, but Audervana will work for both Macs and Windows, and if you have a Mac, then, then certainly use bit perfect or Audervana, either one. They're both great programs, and there are other programs too. There's, there's freeware. Um, Ah, name escapes me right now, but th those are the programs that I prefer. And those will do what you want. They will downsample if you wish. It will, uh, gosh, you know, you can, and they sound good. The, but maybe even a simpler way is to just use the core engine, if you're not too concerned about sound quality, inside the computer. Um, I just, you know what, those sound so bad. I mean, so let me give you an example. Max will, you could set the output that, what, what you're limited to 2448, uh, okay. So you can set your Mac or your Windows to always output 2448, not a big deal. Then no matter what you put in, 16, 16 bit uh, 44, uh, you could put in, you know, 192, 24, it doesn't matter. It will always downsample, upsample, do whatever you want to, to get it out, but they don't sound that good. And to me, you sound like somebody who's interested in sound quality. So, for sure, grab a copy of Audervana. That'd be the easiest way because that is agnostic to whether it's Windows or Mac. And then what you do is you go into the setup menu in Audervana or, or J River. Uh, that's another one that, that works pretty well. And you can, ha you can tell it what your DAC is capable of, and then that will take care of the situation for you. And if you have any problems, Ottervana, and uh, I don't think Jay River has such great customer service. They might, they didn't used to. But um, Damien over at Ottervana, he's great. He will take care of you and make sure that you get what you want out of that. So that's what I would do. Just go out and spend 50 bucks on Ottervana and I think you'll be in hog heaven, and it'll sound good. Later on, you might consider getting a new DAC. If you, you don't have to pay a ton for a DAC. AudioQuest makes a product called the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly is, what are they, $99? You plug it into your USB um, on the computer, and it has a three and a half millimeter output, and you can, uh, hook that up to your analog so you don't even need a DAC because it is the DAC and they're pretty damn good sounding and they handle 192.24. I mean, you know, Audervon is 50 bucks, Dragonfly is 100, maybe change your tactic a little bit? Just something to think about. Okay, great question. Thanks for asking. I will talk to everyone tomorrow. Bye.